Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to access your student email from a computer. So the first thing we're going to do is navigate to the school district website, which is isd623.org. Uh, you can do that on your favorite browser, Firefox, Chrome, Safari, or what have you. And when you get there, you will then click on Students, and then Google Apps for Education. That is how you will get to the Google login for your Google account, your student Google account. When you click on that, you'll go to this page and it will ask you to sign in with your district email address and password. For teachers, we sign in with this format. Here it says students last name, first name. However, that is only for kindergarten through 12th grade students. For our students, we sign in with FV and your number at apps isc623.org. Such as, such as like this one here, FV and the sample number, which you can find on your ID card if you have it with you. If you don't and you've forgotten your number, um, you can sign, you can just let us know. We'll get that to you. Otherwise, if you know your number, this is your complete email address. FV, your number at apps.isd623.org. That is your email address. And it is a Google email address, just like any other Gmail address. You need to type the entire thing in the blank, and then click Next. And then you can enter your password. And your password is the same as before. It is still just the six digits of your, your number, or five digits, or four digits, however your password is. It happens to be your number, such. And you will click on that. Enter that in. Click on the Sign In and you will enter your Google Drive. Now your Google Drive may look differently, but you will see some files, you'll see My Drive, you'll see an icon in the corner, and up here in the corner you'll also see these nine little dots. Some people call it the waffle menu. And if you click on that little waffle menu, that is how you can get to the other Google applications. And Docs, Sheets, Slides, Calendar, Photos, all sorts of different things that Google has available. Um, Gmail will be there as well. Um, it may be near the top, it may be farther down, but if you click on it, like that, it will then open your Gmail. And here you see sample of a Gmail account. You have your messages in the middle, you've got your mailboxes on the side, you've got um, the ability to compose. And if you want to send an email, let's say you want to send an email to one of your teachers, you can click on Compose, and it'll bring up a little message window. In the To field, you can actually start typing the name of your teacher that you want to message. For example, if you want to find me, you can just start typing my my name, and my address will pop up. And you can just select the name of the teacher. It'll fill in the field there. Then you can fill in the subject and your message. And then when you're ready, you can click Send. That's all there is to getting to your email. That's it.